and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr. Hegarty here and in this video we're talking about solving equations, in particular two-step equations, and it's our second video on this. So make sure you've watched uh, two-step one uh, first and now we're going to do this one here. It's involving division. So the two type of equations we want to solve are the following. x divided by 2 add 3 is 13 and x add uh, 3 divided by 2 is equal to 13. And I'd also like you to understand the difference between these. Now you can see we've got, in each of these, we have the following. We have an x. We have add 3. And we also have a divide by 2. Now, but the key is here, which happened first? So in this one here, the first thing that happened to x was it got divided by 2. And then... 3 got added. So when we're solving for x here and we're reversing this process, we're going to subtract 3 first and we're going to multiply by 2 second. But in this case, the first thing that happened to x is that 3 got added and then we divided by 2. So going backwards, to undo this, the first thing we're going to do is multiply by 2 and then we're going to subtract 3. So it's just a distinction between uh, what happens first. So there are two things happening here, some addition or subtraction and a, and a division. Okay, let's practice four examples. Here's the first one. So let's solve for x. Now let's just think what happened to x. The first thing that happened to x is it got divided by 3 and then we added 4. Going backwards therefore, we're going to subtract 4 first and we're going to multiply by 3. So let's subtract 4 off both sides, the way we usually do it, and line underneath this, and then we would write our next line is therefore x divided by 3 is equal to 9 subtract 4, which is 5. And now we're going to multiply both sides by 3, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 as follows, and therefore 3 multiplied by x over 3 just obviously gives me x, and 3 times 5 is equal to 15. At this stage, we must check our answer. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 5 add 4 is 9. I know I got it right. Next example. So we've got x add 4 all divided by 3 is 9. So what happened to x? The first thing is 4 got added. The next thing is that expression got divided by 3. So let's go backwards. We're going to have to multiply by 3 first and then subtract 4. So let's multiply by 3 first. So I'm going to write out my expression here, x add 4 over 3 is equal to 9, and I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. And therefore we're going to get, um, we know that this effectively, uh, if we multiply a fraction by its uh, denominator, then we just get the numerator. So we're going to have x add 4 is equal to 27, and then we're going to subtract 4 off both sides, our second operation, line underneath it, and we're going to get ourselves that x is going to be equal to 23. Let's check our answer. 23 add 4 is 27. 27 divided by 3 is indeed 9. We can be delighted with ourselves. Okay, next one, example 3. Now, it's very similar to the others, apart from I'm just putting in some negatives just to confuse the issue. Let's just think what happened to x. Well, the first thing that happened to x in this case is it got divided by 5, and then we subtracted 6. So going backwards, we're going to add 6 first, and then we're going to multiply by 5. So let's do that. Add 6 to both sides. And then we're going to have the following. We're going to have x divided by 5 is equal to negative 2 add 6. If you're not sure, draw out your number line. There's 0, there's negative 2. You want to add six places, you know two places will get you to zero and another four places will get you the six you need. So the answer is going to be equal to four. So therefore we have four and now we've got to multiply both sides by five. So multiply both sides by five and we're going to get ourselves that x is equal to 20. Do check your answer. 20 divided by five is equal to four. Four subtract six is indeed negative two. Delighted. Last example. Um, x subtract 6 divided by 5 is equal to negative 2. So what, what have we done? We firstly subtracted 6, then we've divided by 5. So going backwards, what are we going to do? We're going to multiply by 5 and we're going to add 6. 
So let's multiply both sides by 5. Let me write out my original. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 5. Now, this would give me on the left-hand side x subtract 6. 5 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 10. Now we're going to add 6 to both sides. Line underneath it. And we're going to get ourselves x is equal to negative 10 add 6. Draw a picture if you're not sure. There's 0. There's negative 10. What happens if you add 6? Go 6 this way. Well, you're going to get yourself to negative 4. So the answer is equal to negative 4. And let's check it. Negative 4 subtract 6 is equal to negative 10. Negative 10 divided by 5 is equal to negative 2. And we're done, therefore. OK, what I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to try nine questions, pause the video, write them out properly, then check your answers with mine in 10 seconds. Off you go. And showing you the answers now, here are the answers to the following questions. Hopefully you managed to find these and managed to understand them. Um, and now you're an expert at two-step equations with divisions in them. Thanks loads for watching.